oh, there's a benefit for us. Then when we get into this business of being in business, there are things like just generating sales, which means marketing. And how about a marketing strategy? They won't come to you, you've got to get noticed. And this is 2011, 12, 13, 14. It's no longer the conventional marketing tools, right? If you're not tweeting, tooting, hooting, <laughs> linking, what are we doing now? Pinning? We're pinning? Yeah. yeah, aren't we? They're not going to notice you. This is a whole new great world, folks. Marketing is, you can have a wonderful restaurant, a wonderful food service with food to die for and nobody knows you're there. We can help with that. Eventually, we're going to have to start talking about cash flow. How much cash is coming in the door? These lenders, that's what they look at. That's why they want those financial projections. Where are you going to get the money to pay me back? Oh, dear lender, look it. After I pay all my expenses, look what I have left over. I can easily pay you back every month. That's what they're looking for. That's what they're looking for. And it's supported by concrete research. This isn't just guesses or suppositions. You've got some real meat here. That's a pun, you know, the foods. But anyway, uh, what's underneath all this is profit. This is what this is all about. The profit in your business is what it's your reward for taking all these risks. Realize that? That's what this is all about. That's a reward. You earn that profit. It, it should be built into your pricing. Pricing. That's another thing we can help you with. How do I set my prices so that I don't chase people away, but that the prices are high enough that they reflect the value that I'm really adding to these raw ingredients? I, you should not price cheap. This is your whole life dream and your passion. Don't give it away free. No. I mean, I'm talk not talking about samples, but price according to the value that you put in there. Your passion. How much is that worth? Okay, and then there's uh, the nitty-gritty again about running the business. You're going to need to talk to professionals. When it comes to contracts, you know, you can write your own. You can get forms off the internet. Ultimately, you do have to talk to attorneys. Tax planning is a maze. IRS well, IRS, them. Don't mess with IRS, seriously, folks. They're big, we're little. Do it according to the rules. You may have to talk to a good accountant. And with some, I, I talked to a company yesterday. It was so confusing, I didn't know what they did. They had five interlocking companies, and they did all this fancy stuff on their own to get tax advantages. And then IRS came knocking and disallowed all the stuff. There's professionals, accountants that can do that. Insurance, there are insurance professionals. How about all this IT stuff? What should I buy, what shouldn't I buy? Should I have a laptop, what should I do? Um, real estate, you folks that are going to have a physical presence. What's the ideal, the, the low rent, the cheap stuff might be so hard to find with no parking that it's a good deal that is not a good deal? How do we find professional real estate folks that really can be trusted? Again, with all these professionals, should you just go online and look? You need somebody who's vetted. Somebody, some professional, that we can actually go to their clients very specifically and say, how good is this person, what have they done for you? That's part of it, a referral list of where do I find professionals. Uh, and then all that maze of social networking, you really have to have a plan today. You can't ignore it. But on the other hand, if you've got five hours a day to spend tweeting, tooting, hooting, linking, <laughs> thinking, no. So that is a very important strategy. You've got to get noticed. You've got to stay in front of your customer. But if it takes a time away from other things, it's a detriment. So how do I balance all that? So there's a plan inside the business plan inside the marketing plan is how I'm going to use social networking to keep that funnel of good customers coming to me, okay? So that's about it. So think about these are benefits to you. It's nice that we have all these resources. And one of the benefits is the team. You notice that? It's here. 
not one, any one of us has all the expertise, but together we're scary. I'm serious. We, if I don't know how to help you, I have two colleagues right here, and then Vanessa and company over there, and then MEDC, who uh, I seen Mr. Snyder here earlier. I mean, it just goes on and on and on. So. When um, Nancy Gross started, she says there's a lot of resources, you just know, need to know where to look. We can help you with that. That's what, the, the, perhaps the first step of the counseling uh, situation, both with SCORE and my organization, is what are your needs? Why should you, I set, gave, give you tons and tons of resources that you then have to plow through? Do it the other way. What do you need? What are your plans? And the, where are the gaps? There's the gaps in information or assistance or help. And free is good. We go to all the free stuff first. Then low cost. Then we think three, four times about spending money. But you would be surprised on how much low cost, high quality stuff there is. Okay? So all our stuff is in this cute little brochure here. By the way, marketing tips, always, you know, tips that I always have. Look at this, instead of a brochure, big one, this little one, it's meant to fit in a pocket, huh? Good idea, or a purse. Then, look what else you do. Put a little pocket in the inside, then you could have like specials, this week's offering, something. We are all over the state of Michigan, we're all over the country, like SCORE is. And this is the three counties that surround us. So we're talking about Wayne, Oakland, and Macomb County. Here are all the offices in my tech town offices there. We are all identical. And um, I mean, that's about it. Remember, we're here for you. We're not here for ourselves. We exist because Congress said, you've got to get out there and help these people. And what the bottom line is, is everybody's looking at jobs jobs. So when you get prosperous, as Tom was talking about the $197 to create a job, that was one person created a business for themselves. They were able to sustain themselves from that business. That's a job. Then you grow a little bit and you add part-timers. Those are jobs. You grow a little bit more and then become full-timers. More jobs. You could uh, maybe add contractors on a contractual basis. That's a sort of a part-time job. This is what we're all looking for. And of course, for you, it's your passion. Your passion comes first. You're entrepreneurs, you see solutions to problems that most of us just complain about the problems. And that's another valuable component is all these solutions that need to get implemented into our society immediately. And that's you folks. Thank you very much and we'll talk.